Have you ever seen those NeoVim programming gods coding at 200 words per minute without touching their mouse? I'm not gonna lie, they look so cool. I've always been fascinated with these so-called 10x developers, but I'm a VS Code fanboy and I refuse to use anything else. However, on my mission to look cool while a senior watches me code, I picked up some VS Code shortcuts that give me some of that 10x developer power. Today we will be going through 30 VS Code keyboard shortcuts that will double your development speed. What better way to demonstrate the practicality of these shortcuts than actual examples in an actual project. Before we get started, let's clean up the UI by getting rid of these bars. That is so much better. Oh no, an issue in the page headers component. Let's take a look. First, we can clear the terminal with command K and toggle it with control tilde. We won't be using the file explorer, so let's close the sidebar with command B. Speaking of which, we can also toggle the bottom bar with command J. Alright, let's quick open the file with command P. We can search for our file, use the up and down arrow keys to select it, and use the right arrow key instead of enter to open the file without closing this menu. We can take it one step further by searching for the specific line and column using the colon line colon column syntax. Hitting enter, we jump down to the problematic code. Using command plus the right arrow, I can jump to the end of the line and delete the semicolon. But now that I think about it, I want to rename this translation key. Using the left and right arrow keys along with option, you can easily navigate between words on a line. If all you need to do is delete a word, you don't even need to select it. Just hit option plus delete with your cursor placed at the end of the word. Additionally, if you do hold down shift, you can make a selection and start typing away. While we're here, this H1 element should really be an H2. You can easily jump to the start or end of a line using command plus the left and right arrow keys. Like most navigation shortcuts, you can hold down shift to make a selection. Alright, let's jump to the start of the line with command plus the left arrow and use option plus the right arrow to jump to the tag and change it. Did you notice how the corresponding closing tag also changed? That's not a shortcut, but it is a very useful VS Code extension I recommend you install. You can open the extensions panel with command shift x and search for auto rename tag. Alright, back to the code. Scrolling up a bit, we can see some simple logic determining what greeting message to display based on the current time. However, this time of day variable isn't named all that well. We can use command D to select the variable and command F to open the search menu with the variable name prefilled. Here, we can click this toggle replace button and use that to rename our variable. However, that utilizes our mouse, which is not very 10x developer. Instead, we can use function plus the F2 key and rename the variable to greeting key. Alright, alright, this is looking better, but these keys could be improved as well. I want to add the greeting suffix to all of them. Holding option, I can click to create multiple cursors. And if I start typing, they all do. There we go. Perfect. We can cancel out these cursors using the escape key. These keys correspond to a translation file, so we should also update the keys in there as well. Using command P, we can open the en.json file. And we can do the exact same thing to rename these keys. Seems like these keys aren't sorted alphabetically, but luckily, VS Code has a command for that. First, we need to select these lines, then open the command palette with command shift P. And finally, type in our command, sort lines ascending. There we go, nice and sorted. The command palette has a variety of commands offered by VS Code and any extensions you have installed. For example, we can also transform to any case, and we can even restart services such as ESLint. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. While we have these lines selected, we can test out indentation shortcuts. If we hit tab, we can of course indent the lines further. 
but we can also de-indent by holding shift while pressing tab. Not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever used this key before, but let's make sure. We can select it and use command shift F to search the entire codebase for the term. Hmm, seems like it's unused. Let's unselect the term and delete the entire line using command X. Lastly, a lot of these lines are running off the page. To make it easier for us to read what the messages are, we can toggle text wrapping using option Z. Or for my American viewers, option Z. Alright, very nice. Let's close this file, the current tab, using command W. Oops, I hit W twice. No worries, I can reopen recently closed files one at a time using command shift T. When dealing with large files, you sometimes need to view two areas of the code at the same time. On VS Code, you can hit command backward slash to split view the current file. The power. Here, we're displaying the user's occupation. Now, I also want to display what department they are in. We can simply select these lines using what we have learned and duplicate them using shift, option, and the up or down arrow. Now we can swap out occupation for department.name. However, I think the department name should go first. Let's use option plus the up and down arrows to swap these two. You can easily comment or uncomment one or more lines using command slash. If you want to comment out a long function or any long range, simply go to the start of the range and hit command option open square bracket to collapse the range. And then you only need to select two lines to comment out. Speaking of long blocks of code, if your cursor is on any type of bracket, you can jump to the corresponding bracket using command shift backwards slash. This is useful for navigating spaghetti nested code. Let's switch over to another component. Here we can see this translations function is being used frequently. But what does it do? Well, we can peek the definition using command click or hitting function F12. Seems like a regular old context provider. Let's go directly to the definition by hitting enter. I kind of forget what this format date does, but we can command click into it, which takes us directly to the file. Reading through this file, I see some simple math being done. I like using brackets to organize my logic, so let's wrap this remainder operation in brackets by selecting the text and simply hitting shift plus the open bracket. This works with all bracket types and string types. We have a few tabs open now and we can navigate between them using command plus shift plus the left or right square bracket. I have one last tip for you. Let's open up the file explorer with command shift E. When creating a file, you can enter the entire desired file path to create missing directories. For example, I can create a new file within the components directory with the path utils like and subscribe.tsx. And the subdirectories are created inside utils and the file is placed within them a little faster than manually creating directories. And there we have it, 30 VS Code shortcuts that will double your development speed and help you on your journey to becoming a 10x developer being offered billions to work at Google. We went through these quite quickly, so I have included a beautiful little cheat sheet in the description covering all the shortcuts in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and for sticking to the very end. We're talking last few seconds. A according to YouTube analytics, this is very rare. I appreciate you. You are, you are one in a million. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one and our devlog series where we're building payroll software from scratch. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. XOXO.